This is why we grow, 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 this is why we grow, sting and this is how it goes, that's the way we grow, that's the way we grow, and this is why we grow, this is why we grow, and this is why we grow. First off, I don't support corporations. I'm a local Mendo farmer growing my personal medication. Why am I even in this police station? All I did was grow some cannabis, giving clean meds to the patients. They wasting time and all they money saying that it's a crime. I done took prescription pills and they was having me out my mind. You'd rather find that on me than this bag of doja. If I could talk to God, he'd probably tell me you're doing just what I told you. Never thought that I'd grow up to be a grower, but I did. Just think it all started out back in the day when I took that ganja hit. Opened up my mind and it had me thinking about my options. Wondering why these pharmacies so quick to have us pill popping. It's a money scheme. They don't want us using green. They don't get no cut off someone selling dank to you and me. I know I'm brutally honest, but I keep it real right. saying. You ready? I think so, yeah. Are you guys ready? Hey, are you guys ready? Is it that time? Uh, let's do it. All right, y'all. We're going to take you on a garden update. First time of the year. And First things, time of the real year, huh? Yeah, things are getting pretty crazy out here. Ugh. Been quite a crazy year. Very trippy. Lots of work. Lots of work, a lot of no-tilling. A lot uh, of stuff to show you guys, because we are way behind. Uh, we just got so much stuff to do that we wanted you guys to soak up last year's DVD. First. Yeah, and if you haven't watched last year's DVD, you're slipping. Slipping. Because there's a lot of info, and it's helped a lot of people out already, so... Um, a new year, a new style, new new strains, new problems. Yep. And it's 2017. So let's go through the garden. I'm ready. All right. All right. We're a little bit closer in now. Yep. Taking in on the cherry gasm here. You know, we're still hand watering at the moment. We got our drip work set up though. It's about to be connected. A little late, but we're used to hand watering all our lives, you know, that's all we've been doing. Yep, but we've been running out of time. Yeah, time is uh, flying by these days. It's busy now. We have became very busy. It's hard to keep track of everything. Uh, one thing, while we're talking about keeping track of everything, street team homies, you're all on the list if you've submitted. We're just waiting to get our promo game up. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long process and uh, the team has built up uh, big time these days, you know? There's it's a huge. Lot, a lot of people on the team. Oh, is that still going? You know, Bleezy likes to hog the blunt. It's yummy. Some indoor. Ugh. Okay, so we've been watering a whole bunch. No-till has been helping us, though. Watering a lot less having this no-till. The top stays a lot more moist. There's crazy amount of roots on the top, more than we've ever had, huh? Yeah, there's so many roots. You dig your hand up there, and that first couple inches is packed now. We've snuffed a bunch of it out, as you can see. There's still some growing through. Probably could change that one, yeah. Yep. It's baby Jesus, though, so you know that could take a limited water. Yeah, this plant right here is a drinker. This is the, yeah, the Jesus OG, our special baby Jesus pheno. Last time we were able to grow this, actually, was uh, when we were raided. So. Yeah. We haven't that grown baby Jesus since we got raided. Four years ago now. It was the plant we were breaking down when the cops knocked on the door. And it was fire as fuck. And they straight took it from us. We grew it inside a couple times. It's so bomb. Made hash with bond. Yeah, it makes some killer hash. Like the the resin from the Jesus OG is insane. Very perfect, that sandy, that dry, big round crystal. Super nice. So yeah, so we're super happy to be growing it again. It's a monster. We're gonna take you through the garden with the GoPro so you can get a full view, but just a little quickie. Yep. You know, our technique of, obviously we're still staying away from the stock like always. It's never changed. 
when we do the drip works thing, we're only going to put the ring right around to the inner cage so it never goes past that inner cage. Yep. You know, with this no-till, it's really cool because over the time, you know, it's still breaking down and it's still doing what it's what it's supposed to be doing. You know, it's building up that humic layer. It's, it's breaking down all this biology in the soil. We got the craziest root web ever going on. There's worms in there, so definitely a bunch of stuff that we've never done before. It's It's been cool. Plants are looking good. Some issues here and there. Yep, as they all people around the west coast are probably dealing with a little bit of rusted issues and so are we that's why we have the plants really clean on the bottom we had a little bit of damage we cleaned them up we've been spraying <laughs> with all kinds of different stuff <coughs> trying out different companies things trying to figure out what works best yeah we'll figure out a good regimen for everybody but yeah th thanks to fucking bitch ass caltrans for releasing fucking rusted mites all up the freeways yeah so it's really fucking frustrating <laughs> um <coughs> You gotta be a microscopic grower. Yeah, for sure. You definitely need a microscope these days. We got a new one. Let's see, this one is the active eye. And this one is uh, pretty fucking sick. Yeah. It does a hundred times zoom, and you can really see everything on there. Yeah, and it's got a little, a little scope meter so you can even measure them out too. Just open it up and it... The light's on the light side. Light comes on and you're fucking good to go. And that's what we have to deal with these days, is get down on a microscopic level. Because these bugs are no joke. Space bond. Oh yeah, we also upgraded. We'll show you that soon. Ta-da! Grow King Sprayer over there. Makes our job ten times easier. Yeah. Yeah, that Grow King is the bee's knees. Legs and arms. All right. Down Stay to down. the roach. Dun dun dun. All Ch right. Ch Ch cherry gasm. Yes. Cherry gasm. We're gonna kick the ball off on a cherry gasm. Cherry gasm, beautiful plant. It looks like it's gonna be fire. We've been trying our hardest to keep everything as clean as possible. Keep in mind everything has been organic. We will never use Avid. Double check that. Never use Avid. Never. Eagle 20. All the bullshit we never will use. And we're not going to be scared to move around our plants and carry bug to bug to different plants because that's some fucking pussy shit. We're not going to do that shit. We're going to be killing them on contact and with biotactics bugs are going to sneak in there and eat anything we don't get. And we're not going to be scared of these bugs no more. Yep. Of it. We got to we got to tackle them head on. Yep. Uh, thrips. We used to have thrips on the bottom. Everything we're doing this year has stopped every bug except for the russets. There is no bugs on our plants except for them. The bottoms are clean as hell. Uh, neem or neem meal works really good, huh? Yeah, neem meal is the biz. It's it's definitely keeping down, like he was saying, those thrips that we've had out in this backyard for a long time. Might want to be careful putting it next to the stalk. We had a couple stalks rot, and I think it was because it was almost too packed with some neem. It was like clumpy, a little bit close to the stem. And as it breaks down, it kind of, that, that mold that builds up that, uh, whatever that, you know, that mycelium fucking yeah, all that craziness. Uh -huh. It's a little out of hand on the stalk sometimes, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, look at this baby Jesus, though. So this was a clone that wasn't even trying to be the biggest clone we ever grown, but it is almost keeping up with the locos that we started about two to three months earlier. 600 gallon pot, that's fucking... Baby Jesus is out It's control. Baby Jesus likes to rage. We got a nice cleaning on the bottom in here. And we got the 40 foot cage that was on the three smoky seed start. Yeah, nuts, let's take a view. Look at this thing, guys. Baby Jesus clone. It's definitely time for a trellis on the top. That one's a mess. But now that we're love our hash making homies, and we've realized the beauty of uh, fresh frozen. Baby Jesus 
We have a big fresh rosin plant. Yep. And here we got the vanilla kush. Vanilla kush had that little stock rot problem. I think it's called collar rot after researching more. It gets it right above the stock, right above the soil line. It gave it a lot of aloe vera. Healed it right up. That aloe is the new shit. Healed it right up. It's very small. Vanilla is one of the slowest growing plants we've ever had. So fire and it puts on weight like a madman. So it adds up for how small it is. But having that problem really shrunk it down again. Yeah, it did. Not gonna be the biggest vanilla we've ever grown. No. But this one. Woo! Locomotion. Yeah, she's a beast. I'm at eye level right now. There's no freaking way you can even get to everything. We still have to get our pear tree ladder. Just, those things are expensive. Out of control up here. Right? So Pretty tall. tall up there. Oh my god. Ooh, beast. Solid. So I don't know. We gotta get the tape measure. 12 feet tall or something by now? Yeah, it's massive. Not even going into bloom yet. See how clean the tops are. It's trying, y'all. Trying to have that perfect cleanliness. Yeah. Loco's a very strong strain. Very strong. It did. This one did get some of the bugs, you know. So it, we've been handling it, and some of the insides of the plant have just kind of died out. And which a lot of you know light doesn't even penetrate into some of these plants because they're so big. A lot of the shit's gonna die anyway, so it's not the worst thing that's ever happened. But you gotta maintain. Yeah, it's just a bitch when you know they're there and you're trying to get rid of them. But we're doing good. So, so as you saw earlier too, this is the competition: 600 gallon tan against a thousand gallon from last year, new soil to old soil. It's gonna be hard to see how much is the bigger one. We'll go walk over there soon, but. This one's been untrained, just one cage, let it go straight, do its thing. That one's been tied out more. And uh, you have to wait till the very end to know what the hell's the difference. Also doing a similar experiment. With the next on the list, grease monkey. Grease monkey? Two grease monkeys, one in a six, one in a thousand. Both of these got the brand new Soil King. Did a lot of Soul King compost this year. Cover crop. Let's talk about that real quick. People are always asking. What kind of cover crop we got in here? Cover crop this year. We went with a, a variety. We have three different kinds actually. We are working with the clover, which we did a crimson clover and um, white Dutch. Yeah, white Dutch clover. Um, then we did purple vetch and a little bit of buckwheat up in the mix. And then the straw that we got had seeds in it. Yeah, the wheat, barley, oat straw, I believe it was. Well, that grows like crazy. We got a lot of these little gals in here. Just did a- See the clover down in there. Trimming on all the cover crop just a couple days ago too, because it was getting so tall. And it's been 108 the last couple days and still got a couple more days of it. There's a bunch of kelp in there getting watered in today. Got a new 50 pound bag of spare time kelp. Almost killed it in one, one go through. Oh, so yeah, the greases are fucking badass. They're trying to be as big as the seed last year almost. For clones, really impressive. Best clones we've ever done this year for sure. We've been gutting hard on the bottoms. Got to get a nice area to clean to get that Grow King sprayer up in there penetrate as much as we possibly can. In between the, the canopy of, of grease monkey right here. I wonder if they're gonna touch each other by the end. It's not too far fetched, especially once we get a cage. Cage on, Johnny. That should get hot. And you guys are gonna see this the same day. Yeah, wow. it, it is August 1st, so what's up, first. everybody? Hope everyone's doing good today. Hey, hey. Yep. Hope everyone's fighting the, the cause. Hope everyone's sharing the vibe. 
Got a lot of new homies, a lot of new friends that are helping the cannabis culture grow like a beast. Of course, we got extreme gardening all up in our soil. Of course, we got our soil all up in smart pots. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Pots yeah. are from last year, pots are from this year. We're gonna also keep pots forever and show you guys how long they can last. It's gonna be years till they can fall apart. We never take the soil out. Now we're doing no-till, so we don't even rototill the pots after we pick the plants. They just sit in there. The new plant eats it up. Yep. And we're gonna be doing a lot of biotactics bug prevention in the winter time. We're gonna be growing cover crop in the winter, getting our soil ready. It's like a year-round process now. Yep. OMC1. Can't even try to get halfway through the canopy right now. A little bit away from it, but damn. So many pictures. My goodness. Well, we topped it a few times too, and it did its own thing. Yeah, it's just a, a the king bush. It's always hungry too. We did a nice cleaning on this one too. Let's take you. Real quick, just to see this fucking skeletor. Look at that thing. Pretty wicked, y'all. Yeah, wiki wiki. Wiki wild wild. Yep, right here we got the alchemy. Alchemy. Very interesting plant. Super weird the way it grows. Yeah, it had some very trippy growth patterns on it. Uh, not just straight shooting out everywhere. It's kind of more thick in spots, but... You did do a lot of popcorn tea and alfalfa tea. And it did almost seem like it did some tribute to the plants too. Right? It had a lot of branches. Tons of side branches from the yeah the cytokinin and the popcorn teas. Cyto branches, but look how it's actually like it's so funny. It gets better and better as as it grows. Hopefully the the herb is just super fire. I mean this year also was weird as everyone else probably knows. It's fucking wintery this year. There's so much non sun and rain going on. Our plants were a little bit confused. A lot of people's plants probably are slightly confused this year. We even put them out later than last year. We started them later. Yeah, a few weeks later. Uh, still learning. Still learning. Next. Every year. <sighs> Raspberry Smash. The new favorite. Heroes of the Farm. You know how we love them with that locomotion that we made our metal dope with. Look at the purple stalks on this one. Looks so much like the locomotion. It's actually like... A loco super close relative, it seems like. It's super badass. You know, we love them purple stocks. Oh, man. We got one on the mountain. We're doing that mic stand with us. You'll see on Instagram. Following us. Such a badass purple stem on the other raspberry. This one's more green on the stem as it got bigger. But still a lot of purple on the stocks. Skinny branches. Probably going to have poop all fire. Probably, yeah. To the farm. Raz, raspberry smash. I thought I just saw the craziest <laughs> So you gotta peek at the cherry gasm. Let's take it to this next look right here. Something special. All the way from the east coast from our brother, Mr. Bond. Sent over the the space bomb Fino, his special one that he's been running for years, making so, some of the most killer hash ever. It's the space bond, is what we like to call it. That one thousand gallon pot, so it's it's not like the hugest bushiest, but it did reach to the all the sides. A thousand gallon pot. I think it's still 
acclimatize into our hot ass weather out here and our dryness. Yeah, it's never grown outdoors yet. No. This is the first year for this this specific pheno to grow outside. This cultivar right here is so fire though. Oh my god. I don't know if we should top it again or let it go. I just don't know. But I do know that with the help of Frenchy Cannoli and Mr. Bond, well, we will have some of the world's best hash in the world. Thousand Gallon Loco. The competition begins and continues. Oh. I can't even believe that there weren't on a bloom yet with how big this is. Last year, uh plant that was in here, that Brineberry cough was so struggly. Yeah, it was, this is totally different from last year because this spot was kind of just bare and a big gap in the middle. Super so big gap. And it's also like the soil was so messed up with those uh root aphid things and whatever the hell they were. But all the stuff we did with the green cleaner. And putting all that we have a lot of 150,000 homo stapus miles in here too eating away we also have the little bugs that came with the worms that also eat up shit so it's not having a problem in the soil at all she is a beast beast mode just a quick look to so say you guys know what uh, uh, predator bugs we we're talking about so those are some of them for, we put on the leaves. The Occidental Northern uh, Californicus. And then we also put on, there's another one of those things. I saw it over here. Got bug containers all over the place. These are our other ones. This is from buildasoil.com. Shout out to Build a Soil. That's where we got our aloe vera from. They got specialty, special, special shit when you really need something unique and super clean okay pig pen time last year's vocal booth has now been replaced with a cosmic glue tester we did one inside and it came out really limey lemony crazy we have another one that pre-bloomed a little bit it's a little more on the greasy side the gorilla side this one's yet to be, but man, it took a sweet time to get big too, and now it's starting to really impress. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty big now, actually. And this pot, for a lot of people that really believe the how much the roots go down, this one's interesting to sh also point out. It's on the cement. You know, there's no roots going anywhere. Yeah. You rocked it. All right, just got rocked. So, what I was trying to point out is that this is all on the cement. No roots are getting through the bottom. So, this is a true test of what a pot can do without any help from the from the ground. You know what I mean? They don't have to tap in to get humongous. What you looking for? Uh oh. Other things off too. Uh oh. We'll be back. So, cosmic glue. Cosmic glue, 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 glue. I don't know about you, but I feel like rolling one. I don't know. Yeah, well, I guess. Uh, I know. I, I want to get a couple of dope views. Let's take a little intermission. Day I called up my 
my tank supply. On Wednesday, you know what I did? I called up all my crew, we smoking big. Yo, bravo, light it up. Looking sketchy. Filling it up too much again, Daniel. Where are you at? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the backyard's pretty full. They say we grow too big of plants. Me, 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 me. Say we grow too big. They say I smoke too much. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to roll one. I didn't even roll it yet. Good fucking water. So. Uh, <laughs> a thousand gallon pot is no joke to water in five yards of soil. Yeah, it takes, uh, with the drip lines <laughs> we're about to put in, it's 80 feet of drip hose to get that thing going. <laughs> 80 feet of drip hose, 40 feet of Cajun, five yards of soil. And how much water does it normally take? At least 40 to 50, huh? At least, yeah. I don't even, we don't even count anymore. Yeah, we stopped counting. It just is, it's on field. And just and we're not trying to overwater anymore either. Yeah, the whole goal of this plant was to make a sand castle out of hash, fresh frozen. Yep. From a raffle to germinating yeah. to winning cups to sending back. We're gonna have to do an article of talking about exactly what happens here, because uh, pretty insane. As long as she can make the whole process. Yep. One thousand gallons. This is where the cover was filmed for how to grow DPG last year. Big roof, baby. And the dope seeds coming soon. Hopefully the testing, I, that's another thing I guess we should tell everyone. Uh, testing is underway. All the testers have been picked. If you guys are testing it, keep updating as much as possible. I've been seeing a lot of good updates. Uh, feedback is doing really good. Strain should almost, almost for sure pass, and uh, maybe end of the year. Yeah, possibly by the end of the year we'll be uh, officially released and we'll see what's up. Hey, eh? harvest day. Eh? Hey, hey. Harvesting. Outdoors harvesting. Our uh, meadow dope mom is looking great. We're about to take clones of it and do a whole light of it inside, and then we'll start a bunch of seeds in this off season. And next year we'll be having a bunch of meadow dopes out here. True that. But what is this beautiful bushel of 
green joy. This one right here is one of the cleanest, best ones ever. And it was put in later after a raspberry smash got the root collar thing. I ripped it out as soon as possible, put this one in, and man, that was a good decision. Raspberry smash. Green pheno. It's a beautiful ball. Why don't you go stand next to it? Pretty nice. Hello. Hello. We're not even putting any hairs on. So barely even thinking about transitioning. It's a very good sign. Very, very nice. Last year, Sour Banana Sherbert from the DNA homies was, uh, it was all right. This one looks like it's gonna beat it for show, though. Nice looking stock on it. Pretty, yeah. Pretty. Over here, Cheers. look what just finally bursted out the side of the cage. Yep. <laughs> Had to help it out, pull some out. This is the Sizzurp. Exotic genetics. Exotic. After growing that grease monkey, we really like all of the stuff we've seen from the grease in general. And then going to meet Mike, we've seen a lot of fire over there. Cuban grower always has stupid fire hatch. Yeah, shout out to the exotic genetics crew, you know, the team, Mike. Cuban hash making fucking genius hash queen. She's killing it. So uh, we decided that we're gonna do another one. Tried to do big smooth, it didn't work this year, so next year we'll do it again. But scissor, yes, I like it a lot. Already actually got the mother. So it's around. It's around. It will be around. And you know, we did another crazy train this year. And the story of this one is quite, uh, quite trippy actually because when we first sprouted these seeds, we had a, a crazy train that was looking a little funny. So Bleezy planted it out here, a little tiny baby, and we just left it. It was really early. And it ended up turning female, so we just left it. We said, screw it. We're gonna just let it grow and see what pheno it is, and got pretty damn big. It's quite nice, yeah. There's this, uh, extreme crazy train pheno that one of our homies grew back in the day that we've always been on a search for wanting to find it so maybe we'll get lucky this year yeah if you guys would have seen it we didn't do as much documentating as we needed to on this one but it was super run it looked so stupid and it was smaller than the cover crop smaller it was funny everything else in the pot and it just barely we kept clearing it up trying not to rip it out because it was just a little skinny little twig man so cool to see that happen yep should we take this them one? a little quick look <laughs> Luckily that we didn't get a chance to transplant we didn't know what to do with it it was going to go inside outside whatever happened it got stuck to the ground yeah and a 30 gallon <laughs> 30 gallon smart pot and this is one of the we're testing out these big smart pots right here. These are the foldable ones that you can undo and transplant, but so we didn't transplant it. We didn't transplant, <laughs> but they work nice with everything else we did. So next year we advise people to try to find these if they come out. We just put two little safety pins in there and hold the soil up. And you know what I was thinking though yesterday? We should take it <laughs> off and put a mound of soil around. Yeah, it. that would be tight. While it transitions and see how big it gets. Yep. Wow, that's another thing we can do with it. Yep, knock it down. Build a little mound, straight to the ground. Speaking of mounds, <coughs> let's go check out the mounds. Oh, sorry kitty, almost stepped on the kitty. It's doing good, it's probably almost ready for a switch towards this way. I got over there good. Oh yeah, so 10 year old Dairy Queen from when we first found it, our homie got the strain just crossed it with another cheese. So this is dairy cheese, double entendre. Right in the soil where we put that loco last year that survived without barely any water. So we thought, fuck it. Uh, Detroit diesel, I mean, yeah. We said, fuck it, we're just gonna try it. It's gonna be the bomb, so we didn't wanna get rid of it. It's gonna be extra cream cheesy. Almost done with the tour. Almost. Only a couple more to go, huh? Yeah. 
This right here is the Grow King sprayer we're talking to you guys about. Such a badass piece of machinery. Everything's replaceable if anything breaks. 15 gallon hookup. Sprays like a champ. That solar panel is charging the battery. And it's always ready to go without it even being plugged in. The gun is so badass. We have a video of that coming soon to show you guys what it's all about. Da, 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 da. White, White cherry truffle? White cherry truffle. From oh, aficionado. Aficionado seeds. Our Mendo cutties. We did the biggest moat we've ever done over here. We're trying to stay way away. We're also going to do some crazy stuff. We'll show you guys a little bit of a, something trippy here in the future. Um, this one that was having the little ants get on it from all the Instagram cutties. The stock is doing the same thing. The ants were just eating away at it. We're gonna put some diatomaceous in there and we sprayed with some stuff. Gotta do a little cleaning on this one still. And we never got to this one yet. But it is a very nice one. It's cool ass structure on it, super thick. Yeah. Gonna have some chunk of really like the strain. Um, this one had a little bit of aphids attack it when it was really young and it was all fucked up and we put it out here for fun also and it turned into just growing like a champ before everything was outside it was looking super happy oh and now it's turned into a beautiful plant yep you never know what you're gonna get so the mound technique is real playing around with it yep. same thing over here extra soil we built the mound, got a nice amount of cover in there. This is a scissor. All right, after filling up the car and having to switch up, we're on the last plant. <laughs> Pretty much took you guys through a whole morning of watering with us on a little quick version. Now it's really getting hot too. Yeah, out of control hot already. And it's only 10.03. But the plants are gonna be loving it. And now their roots are Thanks extra cool. And they are fully thirst quenched. Yeah, and they're ready for some drip works to be hooked up. Make our job a little easier. Yeah, get these rings set up. And we'll be just pressing a button to water. Ah. Turtles. Got our lunchbox. Still rocking. You want to come up on the deck down? Big roots, motherfucker. Another early morning completed. Yeah. Feeding them a bunch of kelp, feeding them a bunch of crazy tea with earthworms and neem and crab meal and bioactivator and a bunch of bounty stuff still. Still on the green trees. Green trees like bees. crazy. About to be hitting that transition now. We're about to start blooming. Pretty trippy. The backyard definitely got filled up. It's quite green out here. Yeah. Looking pretty tits. So, August 1st, y'all. Yeah, we'll see how the rest of the year goes. Hopefully it's the biz. Hopefully uh, we've got no problems. 
It's gonna be some fire. Some fire fire. Can't wait to see these different phenos come out, the strains that we got this year. Brand new stuff that we've never even got to see some of the flowers. So yeah, always keeping it fresh. Can't do the same thing twice or at least over and over again only. <laughs> Gotta mix so it up. Dope. Always it's a variety. But yeah, August 1st, Mendo Dope Garden, no-till revolution. Shout out to Minnesota Nice. Lacing us up. Learning from the best. Shout out to Subcool, TGA Genetics, Smart Pots, Extreme Gardening, the motherfucking Soil King, and now Dripworks. It's time. Drip works, the Grow King, and some biotactics added to the list of homies. Yeah, just wait till you guys see that Grow King in action if you haven't seen it yet. It's definitely the first time using it. We were hooked. And next video coming up will be our video of biotactics showing you how we do some IPM methods as well on different plants and different gardens. Yep, some integrated pest management time. So that's coming right up next on the list from Mendo Dope Vision. Oldie and Bleezy. Better y'all. Keeping it growing. Kill the cannabis heals. That's why we grow. To help these people in every state. Don't need pills to medicate. Wow, Only day. It ain't about the wow, money, it's about the game. Yeah. Only thing taking away my pain is wow, Mary Jane. Wow, to help wow, these people wow, in every wow, state. Wow, Don't wow, need pills wow, to medicate. Wow, Only day. Wow, we grow. Wow, we grow. Wow, we grow. It ain't about the money, it's about the game. Only thing taking away my pain, Mary Jane. That's why we grow. Grow, grow, grow. grow. I said to feed the nation, to keep them strong. That's why we grow. To, to grow. Why we grow, yeah. So your own vegetation up on the land. That's why we grow. Why we grow. Stand up. Why we grow. Meditation. Good vibration. That's why we grow.